I want people to read the book. I'm really actually excited about reading the whole thing, but just tell us a little bit about how you pursued her and just few keynotes for a guy that's pursuing a girl. Yeah, well, I think the first thing is, is you know, you're talking about how guys in the church don't pursue girls anymore. I think that was a, a big part is that, um, that, I, that I had to be very intentional about pursuing her and making it very known too that, you know, where this, this was heading and, and that she was kind of kept in the loop with, with everything. But I think, you know, some of the, the things that, that really made a difference and actually there was a, uh, since you're talking about our men's group, there's a guy named Marshall Allman. He's an actor out here and he spoke to our men's group and he told, told us one time that um, he would, when he started dating his wife, that one of the things he said is he's like, I want to be your man. And, and it was kind of interesting. It sounds, it kind of, it kind of sounds like a Beatles song, obviously. <laughs> But I actually, probably like five or six weeks into dating Kristen, I told her that. I was like, I want to be your man. And, and so, you know, she, and she actually kind of was not okay with that at first. But I kept on telling her, like, I want to be your man. And then, you know, she, she finally said, okay, like, you know, you can be my man. And then I said, okay, well, you can't text your exes anymore. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but then she turned around and says, well, you can't text your exes anymore either. And so there was kind of like a, a place where we finally like were putting boundaries up into our, you know, into our life. The other night we were at the grocery store and there was a woman parked next to us and she turned her car on and Kristen and I walked up and, you know, I had to help Kristen into the door and it was taking a long time. It took like a, a few minutes. And, and so I, I got her to the passenger side and as the woman was pulling out, I saw her window go down. I was like, oh, great. Here we are in L.A. <laughs> And she's probably going to cuss me out. But I was surprised. She goes, she goes, you know, I would have waited another 10 minutes because I was so inspired by what I saw because I never see guys do that anymore.